Today, I'll be teaching on optimal log selection using Stata package. How do you decide on the most optimal log for your model or for your variables? But before I go into the practical example, I need to let you know some hints in regarding optimal log selection. In economics, the dependence of a variable y on another variable x is rarely instantaneous. That is, most often, the dependent variable will respond to the explanatory variable within a lapse of time. That lapse of time is what is called a lag. So how do you know how many lags to include in your model? Caution must be exercised when imputing lags in a regression model. This is because if you use too many lags, you are likely to lose degrees of freedom. It may also cause multicollinearity among your regressors. It can lead to serial correlation in the error terms and also cause you misspecification errors. The answer to that is that there is no hard and fast rule on your choice of lag length. It is basically an empirical issue. If you have an annual data, the number of lags that you are likely to use will be small. Maximum of two is between one or two lags. If you have a quarterly data like I'm going to use in this example, I may be disposed to use between 1 to 8 lags. If you have a monthly data, you can use between 6, 12 or 24 lags if you have sufficient data points. But how do you actually decide which one is the ideal lag length? You can use some information criterion like the Akaike or Schwarz or the HQ to determine which one best suits your model. And the rule of the thumb is that it is that model that gives the lowest values of this criteria. That is the one you choose. The lower the value, the lower the value of the information criteria, the better your model. And the beauty of this is that most of these econometric packages can easily compute this optimal lag length. So it's not for you to do it manually. But also know at the back of your mind that some trial and error is inevitable. So choosing optimal lag length is basically an empirical issue. There is no hard and fast rule to it. So we are going to start some practical example. Make sure you have your data loaded in Stata. Then let's get started. I've already launched my data into Stata. If you know, if you, if, you, if you're a new user of Stata, make sure you have watched my previous video on how you can load Excel file into Stata. That will help you very much. So in this uh, tutorial, I've already loaded my data into Stata. I type BR into the command section. BR simply means browse. And in my edit um, area in the data editor menu, I can see my three variables. I have GDP, I have PC, and I have PDI. I'll be working with the quarterly data from 1970 to 1991 quarter four. So in total, I have 88 observations. So having clarified that, let us begin. But before I can begin to run my um, optimal lag selection analysis, I need to inform Stata that I'll be using a time series. I'm doing a time series analysis. So all I need to do is to type in this command T set quarterly, informing Stata that I'm using a quarterly data. T set quarterly. Make sure it's typed exactly the way your variable name is stated here on your top right corner. So T set quarterly simply means time series set. Set this um, interface to run time series analysis. That is the command I'm giving Stata. I press my enter key and Stata returns this output telling me your time variable is from 1970 quarter one to 1991 quarter four. So now my data is set to be run. So for me to decide the optimal lag for my model, I type in a simple command, VASOC, list all the variables, GDP, PC, PDI. Press enter. So here is the output from Stata. So I have my lags from lag zero to lag four. 
So that means Theta has made provision for me to choose between lag 0 to lag 4 in this particular model. And I have the different criteria by which I can choose from, from LLLR, the degrees of freedom, the P values, FPE criterion, AIC, HQIC, and SBIC. The selection order criteria, I have my sample as indicated 1971 first quarter to 1991 fourth quarter. The total number of observations has now been reduced to 4 because Theta has made provision for 4 lags. So 88 minus 4, I have 84 observations left. So now, for me to know which is the optimal lag length for this model, I need to look for that criterion that has a least value. And in this case, I can see that it's AIC. AIC has 26.8144. Against HIQ, has, which has 27, and SBIC with 27.42. So given this, I'm sticking with AIC criterion, and I'll be using two lags to run this analysis for this model. Now, having decided that, I can also decide the optimal lag for each of these variables. How do I do that? I simply type VASOC GDP. This is the output for VASOC GDP, and looking at the axillary sign for AIC is the lowest at 93.9. .9. So that also tells me that lag 2 is the most ideal lag to use for GDP if I'm running any analysis with GDP in this model. So looking at the AIC criterion is lower than HQIC, is lower than SBIC. At two, at two lags, I was sticking with AIC, even though H QIC and SBIC also indicated lag 2, but I'll be using AIC because it is the lowest among the three. Let's check out VASOC for PCE, the second variable. This is the output for the second variable. Again, lag 4 as indicated by AIC. AIC minimized criteria is giving me 8.65 as against HI, HQIC at 8.7. So again, AIC model is the most ideal to use if I want to use if I want to use a lag for this analysis. Let's look at VASOC PDI for the last variable. So once you type VASOC and your variable name, Stata will give you the options to choose from the various lag criteria. For VASOC PDI, the optimal lag length for PDI is lag 1, as indicated by all the criteria, even though AIC has the lowest. So if I want to run this analysis either with VAR or ARDL, I have to use the AIC criteria, which is giving me the lowest minimized value at 9.55. So before I wrap up this tutorial again, let me just do a recap on what to know when you are selecting optimal lag. Remember, there is no hard and fast rules to your choice of lag length. It's basically an empirical issue. If you have an annual data, you can use maximum of two lags. You can't use beyond that. If not, you are going to lose degrees of freedom. And there are so many attendant issues that may arise from overusing of lags. If you have a quarterly data, you can use between 1 to 8, and if you, are, if you are using a monthly data, you can use up to 24 lags. The rule of the thumb is to use that criterion that gives you the lowest value. That is the rule of the thumb. If it's SBIC that gives the lowest value, stick with the SBIC model. If it's AIC that returns the lowest value of the criteria, stick with AIC. So there is no uh, hard and fast rule on which criteria to stick to. Some researchers will also tell you that uh, if the variables are more than four, they will use a squares criterion. If the variables are less than four, they use AIC. Also know that some trial and error is inevitable.